Alright guys, so uh, it's another week and I'm going to try to go ahead and keep this update part a little short because nothing really has happened in all honesty, so let's go ahead and talk about Nebula a little bit. So last week I decided to go ahead and start working on her again and as you can see, I fixed her, at least temporarily. Well, at least she can run, which I do need because I'm working on RC Mini Movie when I can. Um, yeah, but she's up and running. Everything else is pretty much the same. Reason for that is, well, I ended up getting sick again. Me and my not too bright mood decided to go ahead and uh, share a drink with my friend. She offered me to give her some of her drink and I just drank it. Both of us realized, oh yeah, you're sick. And now I'm sick again. So when I haven't been working, I've been sleeping. I've been really sleepy during the sickness. Which kind of sucks because I'm having a hard time sleeping at that, so I'm just really out of it. Anyways, let's get on to shoutouts. So, shoutouts this week go to Ultimate Traxxas Man, RC Mania Productions, TNJ's RC, and Zevin and RC Studios. Guys, if you want a chance at a shoutout, channel, ugh. Channel shout out. There we go. <laughs> All you have to do is ask for one in the comments below. So let's go and do some Q&A. Alright guys, so hopefully you can understand me because my voice and nose are all ugh, messed up. Anyways, first question comes from JokerFan52. What upgrades do you recommend for the Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive? Oh, that's a fun one. Let me see here. First of all, I definitely have to say get aluminum wheel head subs. That is a must. STRC makes the best ones for that. The reason why I say that one first above all the others is that the tires are really big and more than likely if you have a brushless system, you're going to push it to its limit and when you do that, the plastic head subs are not going to be able to keep up. It's going to shred the inside of the rim for the, where the wheel head sub lies and the wheel hex of itself, so go to aluminum with that as soon as possible. And then all the other basic stuff, RPM, A-arm, shock towers, uh, big bore shocks is a good one, and same upgrades as I've said for the Rustler. Go ahead and do the aluminum rear axle carriers, aluminum steering knuckles, but RPM steering blocks. That's like the best combination I can I have found out that works for me. Also, make sure you get an RPM front bumper. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, next question. This one comes from Overkill. How would you recommend not stripping Trax's hex screws? Be very careful when you unscrew them. Uh, that's as quickly or the best advice I can give. Don't just stick the screwdriver in there and then turn with all your force. Gradually put your strength into it when you turn. If you just turn right off the bat, then ugh. If you do not feel the screw moving when you're unscrewing it, then push a bit hard, then release the pressure, push a bit hard, release the pressure, until it eventually gives way. You never really want to force a screw. When you force a screw, you're going to strip it, especially if it's rusted, believe me. Next one comes from Genesis RC. What is your dream job? Honestly, to get into art. I would love to do something art related. Um, I always wanted to get into animation was one thing when I was growing up. I was really big on doing my own stories, drawing. And yeah, I think that would have been the best choice for me, but no one supported me, so I just kind of gave up on it, which was stupid. And there's still remnants of me trying with that. I mean, with RC Mini Movie, just that's all story driven and everything. And since I can't draw that much, use the RCs as a way to utilize what I want to do with, you know, getting into film and all that. But that's about as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> but yeah, being into the whole animation scene would have been really cool. Next one comes from Bowden Motorsports. Or Bowden? I can't really see it. I can't really say it. <laughs> but anyways, he asked what kind of car do I have. It's just a Toyota RAV4. 
Yeah, you've seen them, I'm sure, in some of the run videos in the front of the house. Next question comes from Victor Dobrinsky. Where did Nebula come from? Someone donated it to me, and Nebula wasn't in the greatest shape. I mean, all the core of the RC was there, but it was missing the tires and all the electronics. So, essentially it was a roller without tires. But there's some pieces that I had to go and replace and buy. And now she's running. In fact, she's using Nexus's old tires, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that's where she came from. He also asked, what is the best 3S LiPo for the Castle Creation System? That, I couldn't really tell you. The one battery I have found out works best for me is, yeah, the Dynamite series. I've heard numerous good things, bad things about a lot of batteries out there, but I find Dynamite just seems to be the best for me. I used to support Turnigy, but Turnigy lately has been kind of disappointing. I've kind of broken a couple of those LiPo batteries. Venom batteries is another one people like to support. I've heard really bad things about them. A few people say that they're the best battery out there, but there's more people hating it than liking it. The Traxxas batteries, I've never had problems with them, surprisingly, but they're not exactly the greatest quality in, you know, strength, so they can break pretty easily. But yeah, I like the hard cases from Dynamite. That's the best I can give you right there. Next one comes from TommyBuddy69. If you could have any RC in the world, what would it be? Mine was and still is the Traxxas Valenian EX. Whew. Any RC in the world. Actually, I would still just go for the Emacs Brushless Edition. Though I wouldn't mind, at this point, it's kind of a tie with the full-size Brushless Edition of the E-Revo. And x Max looks fun too, but... I don't know, the Revo or the Emacs would be my choice. Next one comes from Radio Control 360. What's going on, man? Did you just private the older RC Weeklies? Are they permanently deleted? Yeah, they are permanently deleted. Some of them, for some reason, I can still look at. In fact, if I can, I'll probably show you what my old videos are like. My old, old, old update videos. Because they've come a long way. It's pretty weird. <laughs> Next one comes from RC Carrier. What's your nationality? I am actually Native American, or at least half Native American. And um, my mom was concussion. Concussion. Caucasian? Gosh, I cannot talk. I'm so out of it. And my dad was full Native American. And yeah, I'm, yay, I'm me now. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm so out of it. <laughs> <coughs> Next question comes from Joey Michalacia? Michalacia. Sorry guys, I'm not the greatest with names. Why don't you try racing at your local track? I've actually done that a few times and I've just never gotten footage of it. Lately I didn't do it mainly due to the fact that in order to go racing you have to pay a f entry fee to use their track which was initially ten dollars and then jumped up to like thirty bucks. It was a stupid outrageous jump but it just turned me off. I was like nope not gonna do that. So I haven't been there since. Next question comes from Keaton Yen. What are the top three upgrades for a Stampede 4x4 brushless edition? Like I said with the Stampede two-wheel drive, wheel aluminum wheel hex hubs. After that I would have to say the Traxxas high performance drive shafts or the MVDs drive shafts. One of those two. You definitely want to upgrade those because those are known for breaking a lot. As for a third one, that's a good question. I don't really know. Probably do, 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 do. aluminum steering knuckles with the RPM steering blocks. That would probably be my third suggestion for top upgrades. Alright, one more question. Last one comes from Snipperdoodles. <laughs> it's a funny name. What is the best RC company you have worked with? Whether that be support, durability, etc. What is the worst? And thanks. Oh boy. 
Honestly, I've had the best experience with Traxxas. They're really the only ones I've ever dealt with online or on customer support, and I've never really been upset with them. Um, out of all the companies, I would have to say I don't like Losi very much, just mainly from my opinions of the micros. Uh, there's just something about them that's so cheap. I don't know what it is. It just seems the quality of a micro is so... It could be a lot better, but it's not. It's hard to describe, actually. But yeah, that's probably the only really opinion I can give. I guess I can do one more question. Model cars and RC trucks guys ask, which RC would you go or get between the X-Max or the E-Max? Whoa! In all truth, if the X-Max was possible, I would get that. But for nostalgia reasons, I would really want the E-Max too. But yeah, I would go with the X-Max. That thing looks freaking fun. In fact, I was getting all happy for watching Geostealth do his X-Max series of powering up to 8S and then already broke on him. <laughs> Poor guy has the worst luck sometimes. Uh, Alright, let's do one more question. Last one comes from Roger Chevelle. Do I have any slashes? Yes, I do. I have three. I have a two-wheel drive slash and... Wait, no. I have kind of three. But I have the two-wheel drive slash creature, the 4 by 4 slash... Grim, there we go, and a rally, which is pretty much just a lowered slash 4x4. Four four. <laughs> um, originally, I was going to build a third one, which was going to be the non-LCG tracks slash 4x4, four four, but I converted into the LCG and it just stayed like that. And I don't want another slash. <laughs> I have two of them, I'm good with that, and with a rally, which is just kind of sitting around there. Which I want to turn into a backslash, but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. But yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> well guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I would do more, but like I said, this sickness is just uh, its killing me. Talking is starting to kill my throat too. So my advice is don't get sick guys, and don't share drinks with people who are sick like me. I mean, my dumb freaking decisions sometimes. As for last week's question, I asked for you, should I go ahead and keep up my RC weeklies? And everyone said yes. Uh, no one said delete them, so I'll go ahead and keep them up. I'll go ahead and start numbering them, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep the date next to them. So if anyone wants to go back to see the first one of the year, they could just, bam, click on the first one and there you go. Other than that, there's one last thing I wanted to go ahead and ask you guys, because this has been something that a lot of people have been brought or been bringing up over the years, and in all truth, it's one of those things I've had moral dilemmas about, but it revolves about my channel and Patreon. Patreon, guys, if you don't know what Patreon is, let me explain to you. Basically, I have a site that's set up, and if you want to, you can donate a dollar to the channel and I'll use that to buy upgrades, or an RC, or do any amount around the RCs. I've been um, refusing to set one up because, like I said, for me it's like a moral dilemma. I don't feel comfortable asking people for money because there has been a lot of fights that have brought or come about in the past, mainly due to the fact of the donations that I've received in the past. And I remember a long time ago when it came down to Creature, which originally was Project Frankenstein, I asked everyone to send me in or send me all their old parts so I could build a Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. And that was the only time I asked people to send me stuff. And guess what happened? No one sent me anything. In fact, I got a lot of hate for it. So, from that moment on, I never asked for another donation, nothing. And then I started getting donations non-stop. It was really weird. That's one of the things that people ask me all the time. How do I get so many donations? Because I don't ask for them. And my truthful, honest answer is just... Everyone has always said they just like what I've done and the videos that I make and... 
they want to help out with the channel. So, my question to you guys is, am I just being overreactive, or should I go ahead and set up a Patreon page? In fact, it is set up, it's just not been activated. But, someone brought up the point that I'm, I have, what was it, 17,000 subscribers. Every video I post, I have at least a thousand views. If even just a tenth of those people donated a dollar a month, that's a hundred dollars each month that I could use to buying upgrades for the RCs. Which means, in no time at all, that would literally take me to higher levels that I would never be able to do otherwise. Because right now, as with my money as it sits, I'm still in the red because of my car, my actual car, and then the starter on it's starting to die too, so I just can't keep up with finances. And buying upgrades has become such a rare thing for me anymore, especially since my finances have completely changed over the years, so do you guys think I should set up a Patreon? Let me know. I want your guys' honest opinion. Other than that, that's it for this week, so Keep our scene, keep healthy, remember to have fun, and I will see you next week.